sunset over velvet hills Soft as lavender and rain Golden sky dressed in daffodils Smile as sweet as sugar cane First of all, I want to thank you all for being here to celebrate my amazing sister and her new husband. <laughs> um, I'll never forget the night Amanda and Paven met at Lindsay's wedding at the rehearsal. I saw the sparkle in Paven's eyes every time he looked at Amanda. And my mom and I immediately looked at each other and we were like, oh, there's definitely something happening. <laughs> From that moment on, I knew he was the one for Amanda. I want to say it's kind of fitting Paven's getting married during a time of social distancing. <laughs> because that's all uh, pretty much him and, him and I ever did in high school. Es especially with the girls. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, I'm happy uh, Paven found someone he wants to be within six feet of for the rest of his life. <laughs> Amanda, from the first time I laid eyes on you, the girl in the white Nikes, <laughs> I knew you were something special. I remember getting back from Adam and Lindsay's wedding, where we met, and my grandma asking if I met anyone. I told her about you, and she was so happy, and she told me she had been praying for me to meet a girl like you. And let me tell you, she must have been praying really hard <laughs> if you fell in love with me on the dance floor. <laughs> Haven, if someone asked me to describe what I think our marriage would look like, my answer would be 2020. <laughs> it started as the best, it quickly turned into the not so best. It's been very confusing, hopeful, joyful, sometimes stressful, and emotional. But it has also been the most beautiful year of my life yet. As your wife, I promise to be the dependable constant in your life that you have been to me this year. Now it has been 1,026,142 minutes since I met you. And in a few more minutes, I get to call you my wife. You're the love of my life, my rock, my girl. You're my other half, the one I want to wake up next to every morning, and the one I want falling asleep next to me 15 minutes into watching a show. <laughs> I promise to pray for you daily. I promise to always be by your side and help you through your coffee addiction. <laughs> I promise to always pursue you, fight for you, and to love you unconditionally for the rest of our lives. I would like to tell Paven a story of kind of what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> so we were traveling to a meet in Colorado, and Amanda had just got this nice, big Vera Bradley duffel bag. But when we were walking through the airport, she was just complaining the whole time about, I don't want to carry this. <laughs> and it got to the point where I was like, okay, just give me the bag. <laughs> so I carried it all throughout the airport, all through Colorado. <laughs> so I just want you to know, Paven, that you will be her personal servant. <laughs> to laugh daily with you like we used to do on our three-hour FaceTime dates when we first met. I promise to celebrate every home run, hit, walk, and strike out because then you'll come home sooner and I can feed you dinner. <laughs> and above all, as your wife, I promise to love you with the same confidence you've given me from the start. Amanda. Thank you so much for making my friend happier than he's ever been. I'm praying for many years of happiness and joy, and for you to always remember that love can conquer over anything. Paven, you could have not found anyone more perfect for you. Amanda is beautiful, kind, faithful, and most importantly, a gator.
Before we all raise our glasses and a toast to this newlywed couple, I'd like Taven to raise his first. And I want everyone to take a mental image of this because this is the last time Taven will ever have the upper hand. So I'd like to say cheers to this newlywed couple.